Hello, my name is Mark Tyrrell. I'm a director of Uncommon Knowledge. Welcome to your quick confidence booster download from hypnosisdownloads.com. This advanced hypnosis session can be used before any situation where you want to stay calm, feel confident and perform well. My job is to get you feeling confident for those challenging situations where you really need it. In a moment, we're going to go through the confidence boosting session itself. But first, a few words about self-confidence. In order to be confident, you need to actually feel different in situations, rather than just think differently about things. One of the benefits of this audio experience is that you'll begin to notice yourself feeling better, regardless of whether you expect it to or not. This will mean that your unconscious mind will have learnt more comfortable, enjoyable and effective ways for you to experience challenging situations. Let's quickly examine the idea of confidence. The strangest thing about confidence is that when you're feeling truly confident, you don't give confidence a second thought. In fact, when you're feeling or behaving really confidently, you hardly think about yourself at all. This is because your attention becomes absorbed in the situation or experience at the time. A common mistake people make is to imagine that confidence is the feeling of certainty that things are going to go well. Confident people often expect things to go well, but they don't know for sure. What they do do is feel that even if things don't go well, they'll be able to handle it. Rather than just having a feeling of certainty, they're also very good at relaxing with uncertainty, which amounts to feeling that whatever happens, I'll handle it. So, I repeat, true confidence is about being relaxed with not knowing how things are going to turn out. This is called tolerating uncertainty and is covered in more depth on the self-confidence trainer. The key to confidence is calm. What sets a confident person apart is the ability to remain calm about many more situations than the average person. It's as simple as that. The calmer you are, the more you begin to trust your strengths and allow for your limitations. The second part of developing confidence will be what we call faith in your unconscious mind. This isn't as odd as it sounds. It may surprise you to hear that you already have this in many, many areas. For example, you have faith that your eyes will blink if they need to, that you'll cough if necessary, and that your stomach can digest food. You don't have to think about these things consciously. You simply know that a part of you will unconsciously take care of them. Well, it's the same with confidence. Here's an example. If I'm going to a party, I could worry beforehand what I'm going to say, whether people will like me, or if I'm going to enjoy it. But this is self-defeating, because the more I worry, the lower my confidence becomes. Instead, I'll just trust that I'll respond spontaneously to the social situation as it arises. In exactly the same way that I know my eyes will blink if dust blows towards them. Confidence is spontaneous. So to recap, self-confidence is the feeling that whatever happens you'll deal with it at the time coupled with focusing on the situation in hand rather than on yourself. And just as a fish swims without questioning itself about the process of swimming, so too you can begin to just be in a state of flow whenever you really want the comfort of unconscious certainty that whatever happens, you'll be okay. Now, what you can do right now, as you prepare to relax deeply, is to sit comfortably, or maybe even lie down somewhere comfortable and restful. 
now, as I talk, and you, pretty soon, start to feel a wonderful calm, drifting up those legs, or along those arms, and into those hands. Perhaps beginning to notice a tingling or warming sensations as you relax deeper. That's it. And you can close those eyes if they're not closed already. And what's it like to notice, really notice, a wonderful, gentle, kind of calm, resting all the cells of the body, perhaps imagining them changing color as they relax, so that pretty soon all the cells of your body which go to make up you can be surrounded and imbued with incredible rest and peace. That's right. A part of your mind knows much more about relaxation and calm than you do. And you can allow that to occur incredibly powerfully sometimes. Now you don't have to remember everything or even pay full conscious attention, which can wander anywhere it likes. But your unconscious mind knows how to listen, even if the conscious you doesn't. And that part of your mind can listen, really listen, much more deeply than your conscious mind. Good. Now, the hands can begin to feel a certain way. They know how to relax fully. And as they do, you can notice that the arms also know unconsciously exactly how to relax deeper and deeper. Notice that as you allow those eyes to rest shut, your whole self can begin to feel soothed and rested in a very powerful yet gentle way. In fact, a certain peaceful feeling can be all about you. That's it. And sometimes the eyes feel heavy as you notice yourself relaxing deeper and deeper. That's it. Sometimes when you're drifting asleep, certain relaxing images can come to mind. Certain restful places you've been or would like to go. Some place that has an almost magical quality of allowing incredible calm, peace, rest and deep tranquility. To occur.
perhaps you can begin to get a feeling of how a salmon feels as it swims powerfully and confidently upstream or the eagle as it soars effortlessly on a powerful wind or perhaps just like a time when you felt so calm peaceful and relaxed that confidence just came naturally Now, I'd like you to think of a situation in which, before, you had felt less than completely confident. It could be a social situation, at work, or in any type of activity. Just get a sense of that type of situation now as you relax deeper. And what's it like to settle back in a couple of seconds or even right now? Begin to have a sense of being outside of a situation, looking in, like watching a TV or cinema screen, playfully peeking into a future time, noticing you the way you move, communicate and do the things you do when your unconscious mind takes care of things in that time. And place emphasis on watching yourself with fascination as you see yourself relaxed and in real flow in that situation. Your unconscious mind is already beginning to learn. Watch, enjoy and learn from that future you in that situation and notice how that confidence flows. That's it. Notice how you focus on the job or situation in hand, whether that's communicating with and directing the flow of attention to others or being totally focused with a calm kind of energy on some task. Really learn from yourself how to do it, like watching something in a peaceful dream. And as you feel that sense of wonderful rest, notice that as if by some magic of the mind you can drift into that situation and experience that confidence for real in the situation from the inside. 
experiencing it from start to finish in super quick, calm, hypnotic time, feeling so calm and in flow. That's it. And the more you experience it, the more changes you can notice in your day-to-day -day life. And a bird can soar and dip and fly in so many ways with dignity and subtlety and power. And getting the sense of such a beautiful bird with freedom of movement and great perception, seeing further and flying with the wind sometimes. And you can begin to get the sensation through the imagination of being in company and having a great, great time. Relaxing, having real fun and flow as you relax deeper laughing and joking, but listening and leading the conversation sometimes, relaxing with pauses, the way a high-flying bird can relax as the wind drops and changes and just fly. Okay, now, it can be as if the very air around you relaxes, transmitting even deeper, supercharged rest and comfort, and you can just drift back into your situation from start to finish, flowing through time and really notice the experience of being absolutely on top of your game in this time and place. That's right. Just do that now. Experience that whole situation totally in flow, confidently, calmly, and with great relish and enthusiasm and enjoyment. And you can play with that for a while, while just enjoying the control in that situation. You could now just have a sense, or maybe images, of a wonderful, enchanting view. Get a feel for the quality of the light and the colours the land or seascapes, and the sense of somehow seeing further. And now you've done that, you can return to today, to the here and now, with the wonderful feeling that you've already done 
what you're about to do with an inspiring sense of smoothness and flow with a feeling that you'll deal with things as and when they happen and that undercurrent of confidence can carry you along. Okay, now in a few moments you can begin to feel more consciously alert with that certain sense of inner confidence and a solid focus of mind. Like the sprinter on the blocks who has one goal and one goal alone to run the race to the best of their ability and to finish knowing they gave their all. And when you open your eyes in a few seconds, you can feel alert and wide awake. Okay, and five, four, and three, and two, and one, open your eyes and wide awake. Okay, thank you for purchasing the Quick Confidence Booster. You can download other sessions instantly from our huge library of titles at hypnosisdownloads.com. Remember that you can use this Quick Confidence Booster whenever you need to. The more you use it, the greater the effect, and after you've used it a few times, who knows, you may not need it at all. Thank you so much for listening, and the best of luck.